What to do my homies and welcome to the very first episode. I'm so excited. I am officially the sneaker rookie. Yes, I don't know much about the game, but I'm falling in love with it one day at a time, one drop at a time. I want to give a special shout out right from the beginning to my brother and niece and the team at Buy My Sneakers. They are the ones that have helped me to fall in love, to learn more about this incredible industry that is the sneaker game. So I thought that my first video, I would let you guys in on my four essentials. Having four specific sneakers um, that really spoke to me and I thought I'd give it a bash. So sneaker number one is the one that you probably know me a lot for and it probably isn't very hype worthy but it is definitely hype worthy in my world and I want to introduce you to probably my most used pair of sneakers in the history of my life, the All-Star Chuck Tate. My go-to has to be the all-white, all-leather high tops. They are just so comfortable and what I love most about them is just how cool they feel when I'm dancing on the stage. A fun little fact about these shoes, Chuck Taylor, Charles Taylor, dude back in the 1900s, he actually asked Converse to make a basketball shoe that was a little bit more comfortable and flexible for the court and here we are 100 years later with still one of the most iconic pair of shoes in the world in my opinion. Sneaker number two on my essentials list has to be one that you need to have if you're serious about your sneaker collection and that has to be the Air Max One. Shout out to Tinker Hatfield, he actually is the guy that designed and transformed Nike in my opinion. Go and check out Abstract, a series on Netflix and there's an episode all about Tinker Hatfield and what he did. My go-to ones, the Air Max One 30 year edition. Nike Air Max 1s, probably one of the most iconic Nikes in the range. They are so comfortable. These are the 30 year editions, so I really like the detail on the top of the shoe, which you see there from 1990 to 2020. One dude that I know loves these Air Max 1s is Kid Funk, and hopefully one day I can come to your place and we can actually go through the range that you have. I'd love to see it. All right, moving on to sneaker number three on my essentials list. Sneaker number three on my essentials list is a shoe that I personally never thought I'd be into. I've never been into chunky shoes, but my brother and niece said I need to try a pair of Jordan 1s and damn, am I so happy that I bought my first pair. Um, they are just so damn iconic. I mean, I don't know a more iconic shoe in my opinion than the Jordan 1s and the mids are one of my favorite and these are the mids light bone colorway. These shoes speak for themselves, man. I think what I really dig about them more than anything is the colorway. Now, if you're gonna get into Jordan 1s, Jordan 1s, the design is the same, and what they do is they just change the colorways and slight sort of elements of the shoe, but the shoe stays the iconic shoe that it is. And for me, it's just the mixture of colors on these shoes that just makes it so damn cool. They're so versatile with so many different things. And then you've got that subtle little pop of orange, the jump man on the, uh, what do you call this thing? The, the tongue of the shoe. And the Jordan 1s have actually become my favorite shoe uh, in my range at the moment. I can't wait to show you the rest of my Jordan 1 collection. The last sneaker, sneaker number four on my essentials list. If you're really serious about getting into the sneaker game, then you need a pair of Yeezys. To be honest with you, I was always skeptical about whether the shoe was actually comfortable or not until I tried a pair myself. The pair that I first got, the Yeezy 350s version two. I mean, a easy is a easy. If you're gonna be rocking a easy, then I just think that it just the shoe just is a statement on its own. What I really loved about these pair was definitely the colorway, not too busy, subtle. I love the color palettes of the whole Yeezy range. That little translucent sort of piece on the side. Wow, dude, the comfort of these shoes is next level. A must, a must have, a definite investment to make. You won't go wrong, trust me. 
Damn, and that's my first episode of the Sneaker Rookie. I, I was so damn nervous making this whole episode for you guys because I don't know a lot about the sneakers. I'm learning, but I am definitely very passionate about it. It can be a very intimidating game, but once you actually appreciate it for what it is and how to get your hands on some exclusive drops, which I'll be discussing more about that as we go along. If you don't know about Buy My Sneaker, go and check out the app. It's an incredible app where you can actually go and buy exclusive drop hype sneakers and also resell your stuff on the site. So until next time, I am the Sneaker Rookie.